Hello you smashing lot and welcome back to another episode from the Rusty Gear server. Now then, I hope you're all safe and well and are having a good day. My day has not been too bad at all. Now in today's episode, you're going to see some mining and some chiseling, although not at the same time. I needed some tin because I need a lot of bronze lanterns for my build. And it was whilst I was after getting some that I found something completely unexpected. I'll show you that in a minute, and then we're going to see how I've been getting on with my build. But at the moment, I'm getting a little bit fidgety, because these pies are so boring to make. I wish there was more movement in this pie. And then it wouldn't be so boring. Just a little bit more movement. I mean, there is some movement. There we go. Another one done, another one in. What's in the odds and ends box? A treasure map. Oh, that's from around spawn. It's no good around here. What's this? A story passed down for others to read. Villager stories. I can't say I've been too interested in the stories and the lore. I should pay more attention, really. I should do, really. Let's have a look. Tapestry, confession, diet of kings, the wolfstone castle and blind bat Ricard. What's this one? Oh, just villager stories. I don't know which one that is, actually. Uh, let me put that in there. Villager stories. Oh, blind bat Ricard. Let's pop that in there then. We've had that already. Let's read it from here. Okay. Never go into the caves. Never go under the ground. Haven't you heard the story of Blind Bat Ricard? He was a young boy, just like you lot. Curious, rambunctious and ready for adventure. Some say he was born in one of the villages around here. Well, there wasn't much to do in the fields for a boy like that. He couldn't be bothered with tilling the soil or gathering wheat. One year, as it came to be harvest season, he decided to slip away while everyone else was working. He knew his father would be furious, but Ricard was a greedy boy. Oh, just a minute. Take that one out, put that one in. Where were we? Uh, after a long day of traipsing through the heath and forest, young Ricard had had a great deal of fun. And now the wrath of his father was clear in his mind. He was terrified of going home, so he decided he would stay out for the night and give his father time to calm down and worry about him. It wasn't very bright. But he wasn't very stupid either. He, ha he, he at least knew better than to be caught roaming around at night. By the time the sun was almost gone, he had stumbled upon a deep, well-hidden cave and decided he could pass the night there. Next page. Oh! Oh! Next page. Oh, there must be more to this. There must be. One of one. Is that the one I've got then? And if you get another one, will it say two of two? One of two, two of two. These, yeah, because that does. But did I get those all at the same time? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, I want to find out what's happening now. Tin. Straight down here. If I keep getting all the tin that's around here, because I've seen quite a bit, actually. I'm sure there'll be enough tin to make enough bronze lanterns for all my build. I hope, anyway. We shall see. There we go. Oh, come on. Where are you? Oh. Let's try this way. No. No. I'm not seeing any. Oh, bit there. We need to go this way. Yep, yeah, bit more there. Very thinly spread this, I must say. Bit more there. There we go. Any more? Yep, yeah, bit down here as well. Nice. Oh, is that it? I should really. 
have a little look instead of poking about. Uh, node. Node search. Okay. Huge amounts of quartz. Uh, very Trace amounts of consistorite. Native gold! Ooh! Ooh! I need to find that. It says trace amounts, but if I find the quartz, maybe there's more. Let's try here. Uh, small amounts. There's more. There is more. Okay, let me take another reading back here. Uh, let's try here. Because we are further down. I'll go a bit further. Because they're usually in quite big, sort of flat plains, are, is quartz, isn't it? So... No, I'm not seeing it. Let's take another reading. Right. Oh, still huge amounts of... Oh, trace amounts of gold now. Okay, let is, let's go back to... Where, where was I? I've dug all over the place. I'm not very good at prospecting, as you can tell. Okay, still trace amounts there. Um, went down there, been down there, and been all the way along here. Let me try it again on here. Come on, so trace amounts there. I think I turn away too soon, that's what I do. I think I'll try this again here. I can't remember where it was there now. Oh, that was a trace. Okay, I'm going to go on a bit further. Just a few blocks more, I think, and we'll try it there. Uh, right, let's try it here. Oh, medium amounts. It's this way. Okay, let's go on. I've not had medium before, so this is exciting. Oops, a daisy. Let me just uh, let me put a torch here to show that this is the way that I came from. Oops, a daisy. Let's go a little bit further and have another go. Right, come on, come on, come on. Medium amount still. I think it's down somewhere. Let's have a look. Can I see it from here? I can't reach any further down. Let me just try. Let me just put that there and try a different direction, I think. Not far back, but we're in the right area. But let's try this way and see whether I can see any quartz. Let's go beyond eight blocks of the node search. Oh, that's that bear up there. I know there's a bear up there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Medium amounts again. So it's all around this area. It's got to be down, hasn't it? It really has got to be down. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. And let's go down. Come on, Quartz, where are you? Aha! There it is! Now then. That is very encouraging. Let's open this area up. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, still medium amounts. Well, that's all right. Let's just, let's just get some of this Quartz and see if we can find some of that gold. I would love a load of gold. Imagine. Oh, there, look! Oh, yes! Right. I'm going to mine. I'm going to mine my little pick away. <laughs> Actually, this pick hasn't got... Oh, look! This pick hasn't got much left on it, actually. Nice. Okay, that's uh, 
That's medium. Medium chunks. So, let's carry on. I hope that's not all there is. I hope. Oh, look at this. Oh, some more. Oh, this is fab. Oh! <laughs> oh, I've been wanting to find a chunk of quartz like this for an, an age, honestly. Right. Actually, let's get rid of this as well. Oh, look. I would have missed that. I'm going to have to mine through the whole section. Methodically. Wow. Oh, another one there. I almost have missed that because I should have been able to see that, actually. Okay. Oh, I've still got my belt on. Let me just take that off. I don't need that down here, do I? Oh, wow. This is exciting stuff. Look at that. There's some there. Wow. It's a huge vein as well. I hope it's like this all over. I really do. What sort of... Let me see. Rich. Oh, that's rich. Medium. Rich, medium, poor. Oh, I've got quite a quite a difference, haven't we, really? Quite a variety, should I say. Let's go. Oh, another one there, look. Oh, is it like this all the way through? I could end up with loads. Another one there, look. Oh, this is awesome. I'm not going to be able to stop until I've done all this. Oh, no, some more there. Gosh, this is so satisfying. It really, really is. Oh, some more there. I keep thinking I'm not going to see any more, and then I do. I think this this is the probably one end of it. So I'm gonna why aren't I picking those up? Let's have a look. Let me take those out. Oh, bountiful. Oh. Gosh, I'm getting loads of gold here. Really loads of gold. It's everywhere. Oh. Oh my goodness. Come to me, you lovely gold. There we go. Oh, look at this. Wow. Okay, I need to keep track of where I'm going and where I've come from. Right, I need to be methodical about this. Okay. I'm getting full. I'm getting full and I haven't brought a chest or anything. And my pick is nearly gone. So I think I'm going to have to go back. Oh, look at all this down here. I haven't been taking notice. Get rid of that. Let's pick all this up. Come on. Oh. Why aren't you getting in me? Uh, oh, yeah. That was a bit slow. Right. Uh, let me see. I'm not quite sure how many times I've turned, to be honest. Okay, let's go and see if we can find our way back. Uh, to get out of there. And then this way. Oops, a daisy. Yeah, this way. No. Nope. Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh. Come on, where did I come from? No, nope, not there. Not there. Aha, here. Okay, I haven't made any stairs. Let me just put my belt on. And let's go up. I'll put a couple of torches there to say that's where we go down. And let me get myself sorted out. Oh dear. Sounds like there's a lot going on out there. Uh, where? Ah, it was here, I think. Let's have a look and see if I am correct. Let's have a look. Oh yes, straight out. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I better mark it. Otherwise, it's night time and I might not be able to find it again. There it is. Okay. And let me just put some ladders down, actually. Oh, get off. There we go. Horrid things. Okay. Wow, this is an exciting find. I've never, I've, you know, when you find something and it's just what you want and there's loads of it, it's like, wow. So let me just, um, I need a hammer. Have I not got a hammer? Okay, I've got a hammer now. Okay, let's see what we've got. These are poor. This is bountiful. That is rich. And we've got our medium there. Wow, a hundred, just like that. How long did it take me to get my angel belt and Sidat to help me in the end? Can't remember how much it is for a night watcher, actually. Sheena gave me that gold for that. Let me just have a look. Okay, let's have here, night watcher. Ah, one plate. So I need two gold ingots for that. How much? gold do I need? Oh, 20 for one. So that's 40 for a night watcher. Wow. Let me just, uh, what else did I need? Oh, and temporal gears. Yeah, I've got some of those. So that's all right. <laughs> all right, I'm stuffed again. Let's see. Let's get those in there. There we go. Let's see how much we've got. Wow, another hundred. Oh, that's awesome. Right, might as well put that in there. There we go. Right, stuffed again. Let's see how much we've got now. So... Can we do another hundred? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Let's get all this in. I can hear you, drifters. I can hear you. I'm not picking stuff up again. Oh, I'm stuffed again. Wow. Uh... Let me put my um, chest down. No, my picks in my hand. There we go. Let's see. Get all this in. And let's see what we've got now. Oh, 345. Oh, 373. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there it is. I thought there was one here somewhere. Oh, they're just surface drifters, those, really. They're not nasties. Not really nasty, but I'm putting a wall up there, seeing as I've got one. Just to slow them down a bit. I don't know how many there is. I don't think there's a lot there, actually. Let's have a look. Come on. Come on down. No, you don't want to come. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, dear. You can tell I'm not... Uh... Oh, oh. Come on, then. I think there's only two up there, actually. Come on. Oh, that's a crawler, isn't it, that one? Oh, got him. Come on now, you. There we go. Yeah. Oh, no, there's another one there. Oh, I can't get him because I'm underneath him. I need to be on top, I think. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, can I get him through there? I bet I can. Ha! Oh, you only needed one. I must have got him before. Let's have a look then. Let me get that one out. 
nothing in him. Flux. Nothing there, that's a dead end. Oh no, it isn't a dead end actually, it goes up there. But that's back to the surface, and I'm not that far down really. So, let's see. Yeah, I can hear you. Let's have a quick look around here. I wasn't really planning on going deep underground at all. Or doing much in the way of caving. I just wanted a bit of citrite some there. I'll get that on the way back. Let's see where this goes. Must be another cave adding to this. Oh, there's more there. I'll get that on the way back. Let's have a look. There we go. Oh, it's quite uh, quite a long one, this. Let's have a look. Over here. Oh, and then it goes down. No, I'm not going down there right now. I will at some stage, but not right now. Oh, can I not put my torch up there? Come on. No? Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that's as far as I'm going to go. Let us go back and pick up this Cassitrite that I've seen. Right, this is where I started. I can't see any gold in here. Although, I wonder what the pick would say if I did it here. Oh, trace. Yeah, so probably one block, maybe two. But I can't see any. And don't think I want to waste my pick looking for a trace because I've got so much already so much well I made so many tunnels down here I think I'll just go across to get back because I've only gone in one direction so going back in this direction means I'll cross all the tunnels that I've made and should get back to the first one so look there we go yeah, it went up and down a bit here. Oh, went up and down more there. I'm going to go straight on still. Yeah, there's another tunnel. Good grief. Whoa. I'm sure I've got all the gold. Well, apart from a trace out of this um, quartz <laughs> right so don't think I'll be coming down here again let's have a look there it is look right so wow 373 I think with this I might be able to keep all manner of critters outside my build Now then, I understand that I can push this balustrade right to the edge with this tool. This is a hand wedge and you can push and rotate things with it. So I'm going to have a go. Let's have a look. Here, move block. That should do it. Ho ho ho, look at that. Right to the end. Nice. Oh, that's not quite to the edge. One more. Yeah, that'll do it. Nice. Now then, so to get this balustrade sorted in these corners, I need to come down there and I need to come across here and join it up there. So that's going to be an extra block in the corner. I think this is... I don't think it's going to be that tricky really getting all this lined up and I think the corners should be quite easy because once I've chiseled them I can use my pantograph I think to do all the rest so I only need to do one for all the corners without a pillar. So I'm going to do the ones without a pillar first and 
marry these up and then I'm gonna look at the pillars I have moved the pillars out to the court the, the very edge the, the corners I'm not quite sure if that's a mistake actually I shall think on that I might be moving them back I think right so I've got to I've got to try and do the bottom bit and I can't do it down there so I've just moved it up here that should be easier right I'll just do this upright bit and I think I'll leave the other half flower until I've got the corner I've got it lined up with the cor the other corner that should be okay I think that's it right let's see how this goes there we go and then I've got this little corner bit to do here yeah I think I need it in before I can do anything with it let's take this off might maybe make it a bit easier then there we go in the I'm gonna use the planer on this There we go, I've done that. Now with the pantograph, I can take a snapshot of that and I can rotate it. And with the hand wedge, I can mirror it as well. So I should be able to do all these corners. So I'm gonna add that to that. And then with my ordinary chisel, I can tell it to rotate it. And I only need it once for that corner. Nice. Now this this inner corner here, I can do the same with that. So I'll take a snapshot. And then I'm going to put this one over here. And then I'm going to change it with the pantograph. And then I'm going to rotate it with the chisel. Nice. Now I had decided I'm going to put all these pillars back to the original Place, which is in the middle of the block so I'm just going to center that and carry on with each of the corners I've only done one of the corners the rest I've actually used the pantograph to copy it over and that has been so easy that is awesome and for the stairs going down from this circle I have to do this end bit on its own and then I can just copy that over as well. So that was just a little bit there. Yeah. I'm going to extend the pillars all the way up for five or six. There we go. So that's what we've got so far. Now in my head, I can see a, a gorgeous roof going on top of this. Um, thin and delicate. How I'm going to achieve that, I really don't know. I want to get a feel for what it would look like with the dome on top. So I'm just going to place some blocks until I've got that. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this to be honest <laughs> I think I'm going to have to think about this quite a lot I think I could probably do something with those angles but it's the diagonal bits that are going to be the problem Okay, well that is pretty horrendous really and it's not going to look anything like that when I've done 
but what I'm going to do with it, I'm not quite sure. Watch this space is all I can say at the moment. I have a, an idea what I'm going to do with these stairs and I'm hoping it's going to turn out okay. The entrance, I think I'd like to put some pillars at the entrance. And these are going to be similar to the pillars that I've got on the bridge. So just got a couple of these pillars left. So I'll put these here and then we're back to blocks. I think I'd like this top bit on the top of this to hold up the roof on this bit. But I haven't decided what roof I'm going to do. But it's got a bit easier than doing one on the diagonal. I think I want another pillar next to these. Yeah, quite like that. And I think the roof needs to be bigger. There we go. Somewhere in there, I have to design that. I think I'd like some more down here as well. This has to be thick and looks like it holds the rest up. And I think I'll carry across the decoration I did on the windows. I didn't do them up there. In fact, I might do them up there as well. Yeah, these. There we go. Yeah, quite like that. Now, for the um, balustrade down the side, I'm going to do a different design. I need to make sure that that looks good down there. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Now I've got my basic design, I'm going to just use my pantograph to copy it across. I'll start at the bottom, I think, and uh, let's do this one here. I'll leave the very top one. I just need to copy this all the way down. And the second one here, all the way down on top of that one as well. And the top one. Nice. Now the top one, I think, I'll, that needs to be this one, doesn't it, really? I'll just carry that across. And I just need to do the top now. I 
think this needs to go right through this top stone so I'm just going to copy that across to there and then I need to rotate that so that we just see it on the outside there we go I need to do that on the other side now and that should be fairly easy to do if I do it from this angle because it's just copying it straight across then really so let's do that There we go. I really like that. Now, I think I'd like a curve at the bottom here to join on with this pillar. Right, now for the curved bit, which is separate from the column bit, I need to use my pantograph to take a snapshot and replicate it into this block. And then mirror it. So I can pick that up. And then that's the pillar. I need to use my pantograph. And then I need to use the, um, the hand wedge again to mirror it. So I need to do that just there. There we go. I need to remove this because this is where that curved bit is going to go. There we go. Okay. So I just need to clean this bit up now. Because I don't like the way that looks. And there we have it. I'm, I think I'm quite happy with that now. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think this side wall needs a little bit doing to it. I think maybe creating a bit of depth. Okay, I'm going to try taking some of this away and see if that creates maybe another one. There, I think that. I think that'll do. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it here for this episode. I'm going to carry on with this. I shall be thinking an awful lot about that dome and what I'm going to do with it. And hopefully I'll have something to show you with, uh, the next episode. So take care, everybody. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>